Sad day in wrestling, y'all. Sad day in wrestling. Man, I was like, wow. I was on Facebook. I was like, what's trending? So Dusty Rhodes, and I was like, I went back, and I was like, wait a minute. Well, because I went to look for something else, and I was like, why are they talking about Dusty Rhodes? Why would Dusty Rhodes be trending unless he died? And I go back, and I'm like, oh, man, he died at 69, man. Um, Dusty Rhodes, I'm going to tell you about my experience with Dusty Rhodes. Uh, what I remember about Dusty Rhodes. You know, I did when the Warrior died. I'm doing it now with Dusty. Dusty was one of my favorites as a kid in the 80s. Now, what's funny is that unlike a lot of you who knew of him from what, NWA and WCW, first, I didn't know nothing about him before then. I, my only exposure to him was the WWF and now the WWE. And he, I loved when he would come out dancing with the polka dots. I, you know, it's funny when they did, they, they, I've heard wrestlers talk about the whole thing with the polka dots and, you know, they felt as though, you know, that it, it made a mockery of who he really was. And, um, I didn't know that as a kid, I just thought it was really funny. But as an adult, when the guys were talking, I was just like, Hmm, maybe, you know, maybe he shouldn't have been dancing. But anyway, um, he came out dancing. I always waited, man. As soon as that song came on, I loved watching him come out dancing and walking with all the swag. Man, he had swag, you know, back then when they didn't call it swag. It was just, you were just cool. You could tell he's a cool, laid back motherfucker. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I remember the skit they did when he was selling pig feet to pizza. Y'all remember that? Where he was selling pig feet. He from the South. He, he got to be from the South. He's selling pig's feet pizza. Door to door. Y'all remember that? I got to find that damn clip and watch that. Um, and then I remember when he would come out with sweet sapphire. And I, I remember as a kid thinking, God, he really likes this damn sapphire. That fire wasn't that live, but I guess then again, you know, you know, that's he wasn't the prettiest motherfucker on the planet, <laughs> you know. So remember that whole feud he had with Macho King and Sherry was so fucking funny. And I remember how Sapphire kept uh, dancing around the ring and bumping Sherry with her hips and kept dropping Sherry. And man, them elbows—they is the best elbows. I've ever seen in my life. I just love the way, just the way he would do them elbows and bob. Just he had a way of doing them elbows. And I mean, I saw a couple of clips, and I really, you know, it's funny. I, I don't know if there's a DVD on him or not, but I, sh I should get it so I could check out um, his days in um, in WCW. But, you know, from what I've heard, he really was a great wrestler. And, but, I mean, last but not least, I mean, he's one of the greatest talkers ever on the mic. I mean, he is, he was so natural. You know what I mean? He, it was a, that was a guy that could get on the mic and flow, you know? And uh, I, I loved, anytime Dusty Rose got on the mic, I was listening. He's one of them that when they get on the mic, you're listening. Hogan, Flair, The Rock, Stone Cold, when they pick up the mic, you are listening. And he was one of them. Um, and then, of course, you know, he brought his sons into the game, Gold Dust and Cody. And uh, they they, they uh, picking up the mantle now, you know. And I like to say in the video that they definitely have my condolences. I definitely know what it's like to lose a parent. It's not easy. So... Uh, definitely left left a legacy, and uh, I'm sure his boys are proud of him. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. All right. One million subscribers. Rest in peace, Jesse Rhodes.